We will show you a demo how to associate a Lutron connected bulb remote control called Pico Wireless to the Philips U in your Philips U setup. Okay, so here we have the Lutron remote, the Philips hub, the U tap switch, and phone control. So we can demo currently the Philips it's working with U only. The Lutron has not been commissioned into the system. So if we say switch scenes, we can just switch off. You can see a color changing here and then we'll change and change again. And as you can see here, uh, as we switch scenes, you can see how the scenes are switching in the app as well. You can see it in the app, the control. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, we have like, you can show the room in the rest of the... So here we have a light strip plus Three bulb and a three Philips U bulb in the whole setup. <laughs> yeah, you see it very well. All right, so now we're gonna show you currently the Lutron remote. Is if you turn off, it's not doing anything on because it's not being commissioned to system. This is factory new. This is a state you will get this Lutron remote when you get it out of the package. Now, first thing, I'm not gonna demo. Actually, by holding this, it will. Uh, take control of the light. Uh, if its address has not been synchronized with that of the hub, it will still control. You don't want this to happen because your Philips U light are not working with the U-tap switch anymore, neither with the bridge and the hub. So it's completely off the system and solely control with the Lutron remote. If you ever have trouble with your bulb, by pressing the, the, the off and up here, you can factory reset the bulb without having control. So this, this Lutron remote has not been commissioned. I can factory reset to new the bulb just by being close enough. It's important to have distance because within the software, it will only accept the factory reset command if the signal is above a certain threshold. It will read the power of that signal. So from a distance through a wall, your neighbor doing this, it will not work. You need to be within, it will vary, but when it was from few inches to up to maybe four feet, it will work. But it really depends what's around as well. All right, so we're gonna start by commissioning this switch here now. So we'll go in the app, we'll go in the settings, and we'll go switch setup. Switch it up, we'll add the switch, and we select U dimmer switch. I know it's not a U dimmer, but just select it. All right. Uh, you have two options: one that's already been commissioned that you want to reaccept in the system, or factory new. Ours is factory new, so we click option one. And this is just an explanation of how it will work. So you can just skip that and do click here. Now it's searching. So I will press here, and this is the touch link button for the remote in Zigbee Light Link. So it's clicking off. And then it's done. So then you can just cancel. It will keep searching, but just, just cancel it. Okay, go all the way, you're here, it's search again, just cancel it. Return to the home screen, right? Uh, now, this remote is synchronized with the lob, but not with anything else. If you press down, up, it, it won't do anything because it doesn't control any light. It's just authorized. Now you want to associate with the light. You get close enough, so let's just get underneath here. And you just press here, light up to the max. Okay, this is also called the touch link commissioning procedure. So you initiate the touch link here. You press it, you will see the link. The LED is solid. It will be solid brighter light will switch off three times and then it will blink rapidly. You wait on it until it turns off. When the LED is off, then you turn off. You release it and now you have control. Okay, but it did not still, still control. So if you use the U tap, just press, you still have control over your system. But now it only control one switch. We'll quickly take control of the others. So we come here, 
We initiate touch link over the light strip. So we do it again. And there you go, it's done. Uh, for this one and this one, one thing to note is you can dim up, as you can see, the intensity, bring the intensity back to the max, then you can turn off and turn back on. It will not change the scene, it will not change the setting of the color. The setting of the color always stays the same. With the Lutron remote, you just connect on, off, and dim. But and uh, you, if you want to switch scenes or color, you use the U-Tap switch. Just click on it. And then you can set the scenes that you selected, or you can always use the app. This is the most customizable way of doing it. But in my opinion, living with you switch light on a regular basis, initially with the software, you will set your favorite scene on the remote, on the U-Tap, and you will commission your switches for your system and after that, I don't really use the application ever. I just, I just live with my lights. They're just lights, you know? Uh, all right? And then we have to associate this one. They are really close, so we've seen interference. So one way to avoid interference is to just turn off the light that's already been commissioned, right? And here, we'll just associate it as again. So uh, from down there, it didn't work really well, so we'll do it from up here. Link three times. It initiate. This is confirming touch link initiated. It's not confirmed that it's done. There's a blinking afterward. It will restart to its scene. Then it's done. You only release the button when the LED starts flashing. It is completely off the indicator LED here. And now it works. We'll plug back the strip. All right, so you can see that now we're controlling all three of them, the one in the living room, the light strip, and this one with the dimmer, on, off, dim. And now we're gonna show you if you want a different control. You, you could control all four lights, even this one here. You can control all four lights with one switch, but suppose you have a second switch, and that's what's interesting. So you have a second one here. Uh, this one has been set up on the wall. I don't wanna, uh, there's a sticker to it. It works well, but don't un ever unstick it. If you unstick it, you have to remove the sticker and use another double face tape, okay? The one that comes ba back with the Lutron is not made for <laughs> reusing. It sticks only one time. So let's say we have this one, and you can always have a decora panel where you can clip it into it. This is the better setup I recommend, but currently I, I like the, the small look of just having it here on the column. So now we need to, this one's has been commissioned. This one's authorized. This one's factory new. It doesn't do anything, okay? And if I, I press again to commission with the light over here, it will, it will steal the control. And we don't want that. We want it to play nice. So what we do is we put both neutron next to the other. And we will press both to initiate with each other. So the touch link, but with both of them really close one to the other. So we'll do that and we hold them until the LED turns off. And this is exactly doing the same procedure we did with this Lutron remote and the bridge. Both are off, it's done. Now I will initiate the touch link with the light over here. So, this is blinking three times, starting of touch link procedure. It keeps going, it's not finished, it's not authorized. Oh, back to its scene, now it's work. Now we turn off on this and we can turn off the others with the switch over here, so we can turn on, off. It goes back to its color. Uh, you can dim it down, okay? And if you like the dim down setting, like this, this is very dim down, you turn off. 
if you press instead of pressing all the way up here, you press dim up, it will restart, resume to its dim position. So you can see it's very, it's very dim, off, resume back to dim. And then this will go back to maximum instantly when it's up. And now we can see as well that for the main entrance, the control is still working with the UTAP. The control has not been turned off. Okay, one last thing. One interesting thing, you wonder what happened if I lose my internet connection. If you lose your internet connection, like here, we'll go here in the back of the router and we'll disconnect the internet, okay? So we disconnect the internet. So now we'll try the UTAP, okay? Uh, we'll see that it still works. Connected to the router. Okay, it still works because the one thing you have to understand is the bridge here is a link between Wi-Fi and, and Zigbee, but it doesn't have Wi-Fi. It uses the Wi-Fi, it's a cho choice by design, it uses the Wi-Fi from the router. So you need, to, you need to use the router, but you don't need internet. It will work without internet. Okay, but now we'll connect back the internet just so in case I don't forget. Oh. Connected back. Uh, now we'll disconnect the hub. We'll just we'll just simply turn it off. So one interesting thing is, in case your hub's turned off, the remote still works. So if I turn I turn off the light, we'll turn back on. Max, turn off, turn on. It will work. So the Zigbee 